Hey, what's up you guys? Thomas back with another Linsense video. Today we have another fragrance from Paris Corner, but before we get into that, just want to say thank you guys. Again, it is an honor to be playing on one of those electronic devices, whether it's that cell phone, that tablet, that laptop, that Macintosh, that brand new big screen TV, whether you watch me at home, at work, on a plane, a train, or an automobile. Maybe you're watching me right now, looking at your next fragrance purchase, and you're just wondering, hey, will Thomas review this one that's in the cart right now? And if he is, does he like it, or should I put it back? Man, however and wherever you're watching me, it is an honor. And if you guys are new to this channel, you like what you see, hit the subscribe button, comment, and like. Likes are very, very important. Man, such a long day, but a gorgeous day here in Wisconsin, like 50 degrees. Man, this is uh, an insane winter we've been having. Uh, a couple of snow days, but for the majority of the part, it's been pretty decent. So, uh, with that being said, sometimes, you know, on a long, long, busy day, sometimes you just got to get up. And smell the cologne. Now, that's one beauty about this addiction collection, if you will. There's just something awesome about being able to have people come over to the house. And they look at your collection. You know, they probably didn't think of anyone having a collection of fragrances like that. Especially if there's just someone that has never seen a huge fragrance collection. So, they come to your house and they see all that. And they are just in awe. And it's... You know, anyone can have a car collection, but the thing is, here's the thing, okay? You have a car collection, right? Someone comes to your house, they like it, they're in awe, they want it, or they want to drive it, you don't let them drive it. You come to my house, you say, man, I want to smell like something up there today. Let me get a spray. Okay, pick whichever one you want, spray away, and there you go. But anyways, today's fragrance uh choice today for the day was actually this one this k doja gabbana this one is the edp don't get them mistaken for the edt this one has pretty much the same vibe but just a little bit like this green earthiness but wore that today but the fragrance we're here to discuss again is from that north stag lineup you guys know i did hewitt uh the eighth last time and this time we are on hmm it's february but this one is taking us to september 7th this is September 7th. I think that's what S-E-P-T stands for with this. Or it could just be Sept. I don't know. Sept the 7th. But uh, again, took it already out of the plastic. That way you guys didn't have to watch me do all the plastic and struggle with it. Uh, sometimes these plastics are just getting a little bit too much for your boy. Okay, so anyways, we open it up. Very similar to the last one. Pretty much the same damn thing. But this one, different. Note breakdown this time. Remember, the last one was like a Spice Bomb clone. This one has your top notes of cucumber, melon, pineapple, bergamot, black cart. In the heart, we got some of that patchouli, jasmine, sage, and basil. And at the base, we got some musk, woody notes, vanilla, ambergris. So, you know, some people are saying this is like uh, Creed Aventus, maybe with a couple twists and turns and stuff like that. So, we shall see. Again, never smelt this one yet, okay? Again, I just took the plastic off pretty much just to complete the overall look back there so this is the first time getting here got a clean hand let's go let's go right there so here we go nice black atomizer same bottles last time so no need to go over all that let's just get into that smell let's go pressure sensitive atomizer which is very nice Definitely getting that pineapple right up at the top. Again, very, you know, there's, again, you guys already know there's different batches of Aventus. People like the more of the, the fruitier uh, scent profile. Others like that smoky uh, scent profile of the Aventus. This one, definitely in the air. You're getting a lot of pineapple right up front. It's very fresh and sweet. Let's get closer and see what it's... Starting to get that nice little green, earthy, kind of uh, fresh, kind of... Again, that could be that uh, sage and that basil kind of working together, which is very nice in here. So let's get closer and see if we can detect. Ooh, you know what? I actually like this one a lot. And, you know, here's the thing. A lot of people like the Club de Nuit, um variant. 
Some people like explore, okay? Some people like the real deal, okay? Uh, with something like this, you're probably going to get the same exact thing every time, okay? You don't have to worry about batch code this, batch code that. Maybe it might not be as strong, whatever. But, you know, for $45, $50, man, this is a very nice, okay, you'll think you'll get that Creed Aventus, you know, scent profile, that DNA, okay? But one thing I like is that green herbiness that you get with this when you get close. Now, again, in the air, you're probably just going to think, oh, here's another Aventus clone. But when you get closer to it, you start really getting this green, earthy, herby vibe, which is very nice. And honestly, I really like it. It gives it this nice, fresh, green overall scent. Still got that nice pineapple right in the back. It's more of that, like, fresh pineapple, one that hasn't just... Like, fully gotten sweet and, and super ripe just yet. This is, like, kind of on the verge of, you know, getting to that point. It's not super duper sweet. It's just, like, that nice fresh pineapple. Getting a little bit of that woods creeping through. Those woody notes definitely creeping through. Again... I'm not the hugest Creed Aventus um, DNA guy. Uh, don't, you know, it's it's okay. But, you know, with so many different, you know, clones out there, it just gets to the point where it's like, okay, if I got like 20 of them, then I'm smelling the same thing, pretty much just different variants. Obviously, when you smell this, you're going to get a little of that Aventus DNA scent profile. I don't think it smells, you're going to get that similar DNA profile, but it doesn't smell like, uh, clubbed in the wheat. Okay, so if you don't have that Aventus money and you need like that Aventus clone, try something a little different. Something that gives you a little bit more green and earthy notes. Okay, not that you know. There's ones that got that pineapple. That's the main star. You got something that can give you that smokiness. There's definitely some woods here. It's not smoky, but that pineapple is nice and fresh. You get that nice green herbiness. Okay, from that sage and that basil gives it this nice green, green, green earthiness, which is very nice. <sighs> Man, I like this one. Okay, now again, if you have, uh, if you already have a few Creed clones, maybe you have the real deal. I'd probably say just stay away from this. Okay, but after I gave up my last Creed Aventus DNA clone, which was Afnan's not only intense, I don't really have another Creed Aventus clone in my whole lineup. Don't even have Club in Wheat no more. Got rid of that one too. Got rid of. The uh, Parfum Edition as well. Uh, but this one, you know what? I'm going to keep this one. And I'm not trying to say that because it's now it's in my lineup. I've had those other ones. Not the Creed, but I've had the other clones and stuff like that. And I got rid of them. But this one, there's something about it. That nice green, again, earthy and herbiness that you get with here. That fresh pineapple. Again, it's not overly sweet. It's just right. Man, this is a nice, nice fragrance. Spring, summer, definitely going to work. Definitely getting on that plane. Definitely going to work out. You can definitely wear this working out. You can go wear this to a nice day date, if you will, with the wifey, the lunch date with your girlfriend. Who who knows? You can wear it at any one of those occasions, okay? This is a very nice... If you just don't even think of Creed Aventus 2 when you're wearing this, just think of it as, as its own thing. This is a very good fragrance, guys. Again, that pineapple is very nice too. Again, you guys, it's not it's not overly sweet. It's not that syrupy pineapple scent that you would get from like Rave or some of the other ones, the uh, Alferzon or whatever the hell the name of that thing was. But this is just nice. Again, you're going to get that DNA, that Creed Aventus DNA, a little bit of that green, a little bit of that herb, which is very nice, a little bit of those woody notes, and boom. Most likely, I'm pretty sure we'll eventually get to the vanilla and all that other stuff later down the line. But overall, I'm actually digging this one. And if you can get it, if you can find it, um, I'll leave the link down below. Again, you can get this on eBay sometimes. You can get them. Sometimes Fragrance Buy has them once in a while. Again, do your research. Try to find the cheapest one. I'm going to leave. I'm going to try to leave the cheapest one on the description for you guys. But if you can't, just do your research. Just try to keep finding it. If you can't find it, no big deal. There's a thousand different other fragrances in the sea, okay? So, 
just go with that, okay? So, but again, if you'd like that Creed Aventus DNA, that clubbed in the wheat DNA, with not that harsh opening that everyone talks about, that lemon pledge cleaner, that, that floor cleaner smell, this one, man, smells like high quality, smells good, can't beat it. September 7th, North Stag. There you go. Creed Aventus DNA. Not the exact thing, but close, close, close. Anyways, I'm going to get up out of here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. If you guys did, hit the likes, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Peace. Yeah.